Hi everyone, this is Andrea Gatti from my study room. Welcome to the Dramas channel. We really appreciate your support and you guys know we do the, our best to support the drummers community. And if you appreciate us, I, I suggest you to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and share with your friends. We appreciate your support. Thank you. So today we are, uh, we are continuing our journey on the rudiments and we're looking at this rudiment called the single stroke four. So we need to understand that when playing rudiments, it's not just to say for the sake of just doing what is written, is understanding the mechanics behind it in order that we will be able to apply it on the drum set. Play the rudiments for the sake of just playing the rudiments, but without the right movement won't take you any very far. So we need to understand, again, the mechanics behind it, understand the movements that will allow us to give us, will give us speed and also will allow us to move in the proper way on the drum set, which we will see later. So let's start with a single stroke four. So let's analyze the movement of this rudiment. So this rudiment is made up by a triplet and by another note following, which in our case is going to be an eighth note. So we're going to have a 16 note triplet followed by an eighth note. So it's going to sound like this, ta 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 ta. Let's look at it together. I'm going to do it freely and then we're going to do it with a metronome at a slow speed. So let's analyze it. So we're going to start with this triplet and on our second note of the triplet, we're going to prepare for the accent. What does this mean? It means that if I'm starting from a down position, I need to come up to prepare for the accent because the accent is going to be executed from the top coming down. Now, there's more way that you can apply this uh, upstroke, which we, we call them upstrokes when you prepare and you're coming up. I, the way that I teach my students is by using the Muller technique. So now we're going to look at it together. I'm going to do it very slowly so we can analyze the movements together. So here we go. So it's going to be a tap, an upstroke, which I'm going to prepare for my accent, another tap, and then I'm going to whip my accent. Let me do it very slowly. So one, two, three, down, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down, tap, up, tap, down. Once you understand these motions, when you understand this winding motion here and how to come down, we can start with the zero start with our right hand. We're gonna study starting with our left hand. The same thing. So it's gonna be tap up, tap down, tap up, tap down. Once we understood the motions, we can start and apply it on a metronome. I'm going to do at a slow speed, and I encourage you to do the same. I'm going to start this uh, exercise at a speed of 50 BPM. Now we can start with our left hand and do the accent with the right hand. This is the first step. The step number two, it will be this to start with the accent and we're going to move the 16 note triplet on the end. So it's going to sound like this. We can start with our strong hand. So one, ta 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 pam, pam 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 pam, pam 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 pam. One, two, three, four, one. Same thing inverted in our hands, accent with the left hand. Two, three, four, one. When both of these are coming nicely, but only when they're coming nicely, please don't do not do, do this before having done the first step nicely. We can move to the next step. And uh, it's putting the two together. 
we're gonna start with the accent on the beat and then we're gonna turn it over in the in the second measure we're gonna turn it over and move the accent on the on the end so if this is the tempo is pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pa 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 pam pam pay attention that when you're gonna have the two accents close to each other which is on the end of four of the second measure and then starting again to put the accent on the beat you will have to come up twice do two upstrokes the passage is gonna be this pa 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 pam pam tap up up down down tap up tap down down tap up up down down tap up up down down i'm gonna execute this at our at our speed of 50 bpm I will now show you an application that I found on the Vic Fur collection of the rudiments. They divided in four quadrants and in the quadrant A you can find a single stroke four. I found this exercise very useful because it moves the, basically puts together what we have seen up to now. So the, the accent on the beat, the accent of the beat. And you move switching from which hand starts the single stroke four. And I found it very nicely. Mm. So here guys, here we go. Uh, I want to show you some application of the single stroke four. And uh, I think there are, there are some cool applications and many of them are very popular, like especially like among rock drummers, you will, you will see. But I challenge you, anytime you see we study something, try to put it on the drum set, but not only uh, as, you, uh, as you started with, I mean with the same sticking, but try to Okay, substitute, put the kick instead of one note, try to move it around, say what, what instead of I do, experiment and spend time. I, I am, now we are doing one rudiment per, per week, more or less, and I encourage you to spend that week on that rudiment. So study it, once it's nice you consolidate it, then you can start, okay, put it on the kit and just stay on that rudiment and see how many ideas you, you can get, get out of it. And then you will see that some are gonna be very cool and those will become part of your repertory. Those are like the aces in the sleeve that you can pull out when, when they're needed. Okay, here we go then.
Okay guys, so it's all for today. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting our channel. So I remind you that you can find the, the PDF of the exercise in the description. I'm gonna put the link. And also keep on working on your rudiments. Share with us your progress. We will be very happy to see it. You can remember you can follow us on our social medias. And from today I wanna show you something new. I have this cool t-shirt which is born to play wild and it's part of our collection that you can find on our drama shop. If you want to visit it, I'm going to also put the link in the description. Bye-bye, guys. God bless you. See you next time.